What's going on, Team 8000? It's Dan here. Welcome back to Heavy Rain on PS4. Let's keep going. Let's see what we have in store. All right, we're at the, uh, the cop shop. I believe, yep. Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. God, I'm bored. I hate having nothing to do. I hear you, man. Let's get the formalities out of the way so I can get back to some real work. I gotta see Captain Perry. Orders are orders. Gee, I hate internal politics bullshit. I could go for a little Larry time right about now. Just kind of troll a lull a little bit. Doesn't he like pull out a fake like tennis ball to throw against the wall? Yeah, or a baseball. That's pretty cool, man. I think there's a sequence here. Um, what? <laughs> I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course, we've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? Yeah. I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what Actually, you know, it's this quite guy accurate. Is exotic flowers and origami figures. Work that one out, then the press get onto it, and we yeah, it is. That's cool. The universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, oh, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. I, I'm actually baffled that that man does oh, not know how to tie Charlie a tie. And she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. As you get Perry's assistant to show me my office, I can't wait to get to work. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? It's nearby, isn't it? Strange character, Captain Perry. Seems to be more interested in meeting the press than investigating the crime. Captain Perry is doing his press conference now. Might be interesting to have a look. Yeah, it might be, actually. I might do I'll that. I'll have a look around the station. Stretch my legs for a bit. Oh, that was uh, Blake. I almost talked to Blake for a moment. Wait, what is this? Okay.
Oh, whoops. I don't know who this is, but we'll need to come back in here later. I do recall this. For when, uh, yeah. I think that's actually now. Or soon, anyway. Oh, same girls. Dude's like, best sleep I've had all week. Alright, where was it? It was over here, wasn't it? Let's go have a listen. Let's listen in. Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions? Or anything like that? No. Yeah, he has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poorer parts of the city. What do you say to that? That's absurd. The police make no distinctions between victims based on their social class. It is true that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation more difficult. What a stupid question, honestly. Yes. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. Is that true? Ha! You seem to be well informed. Yes, we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. We were planning to announce this in the next few days, but it seems that won't be necessary. I'm right here, what up? According to certain sources, the town hall has been applying pressure to avoid any mention of a serial killer in order not to have an adverse effect on the mayor's election campaign. Do you have anything to say about that? Pure speculation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation, except to support the efforts of the police force, of course. Thank you for your cooperation. One question, please, sir. One last question. Captain Perry, one more question, please. <laughs> That's all she wrote, apparently. All right, so. Cases front page news in all the papers. Yeah, obviously. It's not going to be easy investigating a crime under the glare of all this publicity. Hi, Mac. How you doing? This investigation is starting to give me the creeps. Get a hold of yourself, man. You're in the FBI. That shouldn't be an issue. Actually, I might go talk to, uh, to Blake real quick. He sits over here, I think. Yeah, other side. I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case? I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. I'm really starting to dislike that guy. I gotta watch my back from now on. It's kind of a dingleberry. Larry's promotion present. That gold watch, though. This is important for something. I can't remember. The thing is, why do they need to have a collection for a present if they already have the present? <laughs> nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. Oh, I remember why. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Sure. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. That's important to remember. It's like for a suspicion of who... Yeah. You'll see. For those of you who haven't played this game, you'll see. Someone commented and told me, Yo, Dan, everybody knows who the killer is. I'm like, not true. Not everybody played this game. Or watched a Let's Play, so this is for their benefit, too. No spoilers. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. 
What? Dude, it's a temporary office. Why would you need anything better? Think about it. Okay, time to work. Wow. More like a big cupboard. Well, I wanted a quiet place to work, and it certainly looks like I got it. Definitely. No time to lose. Gotta get down to work. First, analyze the case files. Alright, so you can kind of start things off. I'm just kind of gonna... Oh, never mind. I guess I don't need to. Alright, we're gonna go straight into the action. We don't have enough of the clues... Just yet... To, uh, you know... Give any... Sure. Oh, I guess he doesn't need any of that, does he? He's got Ari. Dirty ass, like, chair and everything. All right, Norm. Step one. Change the office. All right. We can do it for however we want. Like, whatever, whatever one I choose. We can go for a maple touch. We can go in the clouds, we can go in the ocean, or we can go, we can go in the planets. Those are planets, so we can go in space, surrounded by leaves, around by water. Let's see the water one. Underground, that is so dope. Super advanced VR. Let's see the cloud one. Oh wait, no, I didn't do that. Just a moment. No, what are you doing? Oh my god. I did not even select that. Environment. Jeez. You butthole. I already know what that one looks like. This one's pretty cool, though, man. I like this one. Look at that view. I like water, though. Let's take a look at the space one, just for everyone's benefit. Oh, yeah, we're on Mars, right? Yeah, I remember this one. That is so cool. And the last one on here is the leaves. And this one's actually quite beautiful. Just in the middle of, uh... In the middle of the woods. Some people find this the most peaceful. I mean, that's gorgeous. Look at those trees. I think I ended up selecting a couple of them. But you know what? I think I'm going to start off with the cloud one. We'll sit with this. Maybe the next time we come back to his office, we'll pick something else. I think I like this cloud. Very nice. Very good. Okay, that's good. Get rid of that. All right, let's get to work. Let's look at the files. That's what he wants to investigate first, I think. So you gotta kinda link them, I think. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Shows the area. Killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. We'll narrow it down. Not yet. We need more clues. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. 
and all the victims disappeared in the fall. For the rain. Uh, did I, I already open that one? Yeah, I think so. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned, over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Dude's a ghost. All right, let's go ahead and geoanalyze. I don't think this has any, yeah, no data. All it is is his MO. Uh, we might be able to analyze it though. We'll have to look at the, the new. Uh... The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Kind of like me. <laughs> Except I'm not 30 to 45. <laughs> All right, I think we're done with this. So you have to really kind of figure that out. I don't want to close. All right, let's look at the clues. Let's actually analyze the clues. Chevy Malibu 83. The car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Okay. Um, can we do a Geo? No. Oh, wait. I was just looking at that. Okay. We might be able to analyze the origami figure. I don't know if that'll really do anything. Specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Probably won't do us any good. Just oh. one origami store in town. So we can kind of find that and go interrogate somebody. Let's go ahead and quickly analyze this. The orchid. They, they only grow in certain areas, I think. Hmm. Common species. That doesn't help much. Well, we can narrow the search down by geoanalysis. I think this actually helps this here. The orchid is a common species. Oh. It can be found at any flower shop. Never mind. That won't help us much. I think that's all she wrote. Get rid of that. Is there anything else we need? Files, environment. Yes, yeah, so let's go to the files. We might be able to apply various things, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to look at this one more time. Yeah, I think we've already... Yeah, I think I wasn't supposed to do this. I'm sorry. There is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Okay. Alright, let's get rid of this. I think we're done here. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. Yeah. He's in withdrawal. So we gotta stumble our way to the bathroom. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. No. You're fine. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. No. No drugs. Is everything all right, sir? So you find out and then you just... 
no one will see. Jesus, he's really tripping out. He made it. You can take the trip to right there if you want. But it's not a good idea. It's a fictional drug called Triptocaine, by the way. Time for the interview where all that important information matters. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It was about four o'clock. It was four o'clock. Or four fifteen. Four fifteen. Yeah, that's it. Four fifteen. I remember exactly because I looked at the clock in the park when we arrived. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. A uh, beige coat. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. Obviously, they were green. Green pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? I didn't... I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back... I didn't want to say that. ...the carousel had stopped and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school. But you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? My wife and I have been separated for the last six months. But Sean would not have gone off without telling his mother or me. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen. Your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Damn, son! Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say... But it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Damn, that was harsh. I'm sorry. It's 
not what I meant to say. God, that's so heartbreaking, you know? It's it's a role you used to fill. But, you know, the husband, and now, you know... You can't be there for her. She won't let you. I thought they were divorced, but I guess they're just separated. Which is w why Ethan's living in a trash house. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, favorite it as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and be sure to share this video with your friends as well. Let them know who DanQ8000 is. If you haven't yet, be sure to follow me on my social media. Those links are down below in the description. I highly recommend you check me out on there. Very active, great way to get in touch with me. Also, if you're interested, you want to get yourself a DanQ8000 t-shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description below. So thank you so much again, guys. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. We'll be seeing you in the next one. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. See you guys later. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that style. It's now Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying. So we driving fire back if they ain't vibing. Lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard just like the beta players. Grab your respirators. Night invaders get light. Savored. Mass on for the shooters. Move like trash to bed intruder. Got that glocking, got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah. It was never, ever a game.